Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace and blessings everyone. Thank you for watching Alhambra Studio Foundation. This is Aziz Live 360. As we embark the new year, 2022, do you have a vision, a resolution, or target you would like to accomplish? Whatever that might be, why not add in learning the Arabic language as your goal this year, inshallah? Whatever your goal is this year, make accountability is your theme. Because of course, when you have a lot of goals and things you want to achieve, the only way to actually make things happen is to remain accountable in terms of tracking your progress and making sure you're actually nearing the possibility of making things happen. Take advantage of our programs this 2022, inshallah. All you have to do is subscribe to get all the updates right on your phone. This year, we will focus on the language that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to be the last divine revelation. The Arabic language can indeed be one of the most challenging languages to learn without the right courses and resources. The end goal is to help you not only read and speak the Arabic language, but also to understand the meanings of the Quran. We intend to use social media platforms as effectively and meaningfully as possible, not only to create an environment of learning where knowledge is shared, ideas are exchanged, and intellect is cultivated, but also invite others to come and learn about our faith because knowledge and enlightenment are always better than ignorance. Our goal is to revive the traditional teachings of our faith. Time, again, is very crucial to us, and that time is now to awaken the human spirit with the revival of religious sciences. We'll focus this year, inshallah, on language acquisition first and foremost, including the Arabic language, towards reading and understanding the Qur'an with ease. There is a reason why we want to focus and start with the Arabic language lessons. The story of the creation, the stories of the prophets, and basic Islamic teachings. Arabic is the key to Islamic knowledge. It's a tool of the Islamic studies. You can't study Islamic traditions without Arabic language. You can, however, learn Islam without Arabic, undeniable. Matter of fact, you can learn Islam in any language in the world, and believe it or not, you might have a lot of understanding better than those born in the Muslim families. But you can't learn this tradition without Arabic language. You won't understand the Quran in its entirety without Arabic. It's simple as that. The Quran is an Arabic phenomenon. It's a miracle that is related only to the Arabic language, and it can only truly be experienced in Arabic. When you translate, for example, the Quran to other languages, it changes the experience of the Quran, which is why when some people learn the Arabic language and read the Quran, they have completely different experience from when they read it in their native language. It's just a very different book. It's not a book that you can read and understand the right way. You might read a verse today and learn something, and when you come back to it tomorrow, you understand more and more from just that one verse, because it's the literal word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not a human book. Humans can understand the language of the Quran in order to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it doesn't have human interference. In Arabic, we say Kalamullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the last revelations. So you can learn any language in the world in a very short period of time and benefit from it. The Arabic language, however, will take you the rest of your life because it's a language that doesn't have an end. It is the most organized, the most preserved, and the most elegant language in the history of mankind. And this is also a proof of the truth of Islam. The first language to have a complete dictionary that translates any word of any language accurately. I can go on and on speaking about the miracle of the Arabic language. 
But if you don't speak the language, you and I won't share the same experience. The Quran is a book that is thrusted against falsehood whenever it exists with all forms of truth. It's a book of burhan, proof. The Quran actually overwhelms people with so much proof and truth till they admit there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Quran is a book of intellect sent to ulul al-bab, those of intellect. And if you want to ponder on the miracles of the Quran, the miracles of everything around you, including ourselves, spend time learning the Arabic language. So we do have the most comprehensive yet productive and effective program guaranteed to learn and speak the Arabic language fluently. We follow academic methods, yet very traditional in our teaching style, that makes all the steps clear to students of knowledge. This program, inshallah, should benefit not only advanced academic students, but also young children. My daughter will be part of this learning journey as well. And we want to stress that it's all free, by the way. Anyone can benefit from it, and it's for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for generations to come. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless, to bless this sadaqah jariyah, an ongoing charity. Ameen. We have to be realistic. The learning of a new language as an adult is indeed a difficult endeavor. One that can be made harder by the pace of life today and the multiple responsibilities, which we carry as parents, professionals, and members of our communities. That's why we have reinforced our teachings with a podcast called Al Arabiya Pod, Your Arabic Pocket. And it should serve those who have busy schedule like myself to access the podcast at their convenience. As someone who works 40 hours a week, committed to the community services and family, time can be very challenging, but we will try to publish at least two or three videos a week to keep you busy and challenged, inshallah. With this in mind, we have sought to develop a course that is flexible enough to be accommodated within the rigors of today's life, but with a structured, robust, enough to achieve the objective. A program that would provide a complete path to learning the language of the Quran. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, to grant us peace in our mission, and we invite you all to join us in this life-changing journey towards witnessing the miracles of the Quran through the Arabic language. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the understanding. Ameen. Join us and share this humble platform in your news feeds. You could be the reason someone acquiring knowledge while you gain deeds. A small but simple action, that's all we need, to convey the message of monotheism and plant the seed. The journey of life is very short and nothing guaranteed, except those who leave behind three to succeed. Ongoing charity, never to stop or cease. Beneficial knowledge to enlighten, not to mislead. And a righteous child who prays for them and intercede. Advice to myself and others in order to proceed. Stay steadfast in your prayer and tawheed. This is the time of constant trials and tribulations indeed. We testify that nothing is worthy of worship except Allah, Al Wahid Al Ahad Al Samad Al Majid. Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam is the last and the seal of the prophets and the Imam to precede. Ummati, Ummati was his cry while on his knees. Ummati, Ummati will be his cry on the day when no one to intercede. Repeat after me, please. This is the creed. As if you strive for paradise as a shaheed, we bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. Prophets and messengers all testified that Muhammad Rasulullah turned to him and say, Ya Allah, prostrate to him and say, Alhamdulillah. Thank you for watching Alhamdulillah Studio Foundation. This is Aziz Live 360. Till next time, fi amani Allahi wa raayatih. 
Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace and blessings, everyone.